All right, what we got here, my friends, is quite the rodeo. Um, I can tell you right now that I need to get Imogene out of there. It's obvious that both of the males, Voodoo and Bucky's, are very at home here. They're very at home. They're not gonna let the little mare, the little filly, uh, be as dominant as she has been. And so what she's trying to do, Senorita is trying to be, she's trying to be controlling of whoever she can. And since she can't be controlling of Voodoo or Bucky's, she's trying to be controlling of Imogene. So we're gonna have to take and get Imogene out of this pasture, put her over with Dan, and then move Dan and Imogene back up with the goats for now, uh, just to keep them safe. We don't need Imogene being run all around the pastures. So I'll take care of that. Um, yeah, it's quite the rodeo, y'all. Quite the rodeo happening here today. Folks, Lester here, and uh, sometimes things are forced on you faster than what you are ready for them to happen. And that's not just a Lester thing. That is a, every single one of us know that it's true. We've always, we've had things pushed on us that we're not quite ready for. And you have to be flexible, versatile. I don't even know which word I'm looking for. You have to be able to kind of adjust on the fly though. And that is exactly what's happening today. We had a, a breakout. Moses has broken through. And uh, he's running loose with our cows and heifers back at the other property. Jake sorted everything out. I called Uriel. He's not working today because it's rainy, which is great. We're so blessed with the rain. And I've asked him to help me do some loading of some cows today. And that's what we're about to do. Take a few horses over, bring a few cows back. We're gonna talk more about it. You guys stick around and uh, come with us. All right, Jamie's usually really good about this. We're gonna watch how she does it. And then I'll try to follow, follow up with this one here. Uh-oh, you're stepping on your lead. Carter and Cash. What do you got, baby? What do you got? What in the world is it? A, a Pop-Tart? Yeah. I love Pop-Tarts. Is it cinnamon? Is it cinnamon Pop-Tart? No, it's what is it, Brie? Yeah, it's cinnamon. It is cinnamon. Can I have a bite? Brown sugar. That's Can I have a bite of the brown? Ooh, ooh. Mmm. <laughs> it was good, Brie. It was One. probably dirty. Huh. It's okay. I'm not gonna eat cash his was dirty. This is my horse. Really, what is that? It's my diesel can. I'm about to go to the store. Jake, <laughs> don't you have like a brand new truck sitting over there? I have a bike right here. That just looks really dangerous to me. So we're very blessed that Uriel's here today. It's been raining, y'all. Look at all this. This is a beautiful. And I'm going to get this guy to help me with these horses. Hello. You like horses, right? Uh, pretty horse. You like pretty, uh, pretty horses? Yeah. Well, I need some help. Okay. Right now, Voodoo's eyes are glued onto, onto Rita. He's like, who in the heck are you? He doesn't care about Uriel. He already knows Uriel. He's seen him before. He's like, yeah, I've never seen that little filly. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. She's pretty. She's so pretty. She's a pretty girl, and I think I'm in love. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, don't lay down. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so our plan is to take all of our seven cows. There's no way to haul all seven at the same time. 
there's no way. So what we're gonna do is call up whoever wants to come first. We're just gonna call, uh, we'll put feed here in our loading system. We already have our trailer backed up. We have a series of gates that we will close up behind them and we'll try to load. If we can load two or three, then we'll be great with that. If we can load Santana and Charlene together, that would be even better because we don't want to separate them, obviously. But uh, what we're gonna do is try to do it without putting a lot of pressure on them. We have six of our ladies right over here. And then Jezebel, as usual, is off to herself. And so uh, we'll bring feed, we'll call them up, and then Uriel and I will get together behind them and start to push them in best that we can without causing too much stress. And we're not gonna get here, I hurt. So once again, so blessed to have Uriel here. Um, I hate that he doesn't have full-time work and temp, uh, but at the same time, it's always a blessing for us to be able to get someone over. Hey, Ringy! When we need a extra hand. All right, let me try it, Uriel. Ah! Suck, 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 suck. Do that again. Do it again. Suck, suck, suck. <laughs> suck, suck, suck. <gasps> it's working? Suck, suck, suck. It's working. Yeah. No. Suck, suck, suck. I'm their daddy. I am suck, their suck. daddy. Come on. Ah! Suck, 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 suck. Come on. Come on, Uriel. Come this way. Come on, babies. Let's go. Ah! All right, Uriel, take it in there as far as you can and start putting it all along through there. And then we will get these guys. Come on, babes, let's go. Woo! So Jezebel's not moving. She's like, hey, I'm in, I'm in the pond. I'm not moving. And then we'll get the feed poured out here. And then, yeah, pour it. In, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, yeah, pour it. It's not been. Deja la ye. Y pon alguna comida ye. Un poco más en el blanco. Y separarlos para que algunos puedan pasar. Perfecto. All right, here they come. So what we're doing is just letting them have a chance to kind of make sure everything looks looks safe. I would love to get these four in one trip. That would be great. Now, Marilyn's going to be the mean one. We want her to go up in there first so we can kind of pin her off to herself. Uh, what we really need to have, though, is for Charlene to go with Mama. That would be ideal. But, uh, boy, they're very, very cautious. They just know. They know something's going on. They know something's going on. All right, there it goes. Pearl, that's good. That's just one, though. Now, what'll happen is Marilyn will see Pearl's eating something, and Marilyn will move Pearl on up in there. That'll be, that'll be two. And if we had to do it two or three at a time, that's fine. What we don't, we kind of want to keep Charlene with Mama, though, if possible. And this is Mama over here. That's two. Okay. Go, 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 go. So what we do here is we start closing gates. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh my gosh. Okay, you'll pull them to the sack on this little stuff. I'm gonna start with these two. That's fine. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll just start making multiple trips back and forth. I'll leave all the gates open and then I'll have Uriel throughout the day just keep watching. And every time we can get a couple of cows in here, just close the gates behind them. And then we'll come back and forth and back and forth till we get them all moved over. Okay? All right, so that's Santana and Charlene. That's mother and daughter. And so we're good on our on our first trip. Thank you, Uriel. All right, so we grabbed Jolene with us. We got one more. All right, Uriel, come on. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Jolene, you need to settle down. All right, here, Uriel, take my phone. Take my phone. No, Jolene, you ain't. Back up.
don't you take the girl. Jolie, Jolie, no! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a string. I'm gonna tie this over here together so these two can't close. Don't, uh, Joe, hey, 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 do you have to do that to her? Do y'all have to be so mean to each other? Jolene wants to go with y'all. All right, so I'm gonna end up getting Jolene hurt if I don't hurry. We gotta get on the road. Hurry, Ariel, wrap it up. If we don't get on the road, then they're gonna end up getting somebody hurt. Here, over here, Ariel. Yeah. All right, Daniel, phone. Nope, 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 nope. All right, hey, muevela the tractor, Uriel, muevela the tractor. Yeah, muevela. We're gonna start driving forward and that will make them settle down a little bit. If we start driving, they'll have other things to worry about besides being mean to each other. And uh, friends, they're fine. Don't you, anyone needs to, no one needs to freak out here. They're fine. But what I want to do is close that swing gate so that we don't have any issues once we're down the road. And once we're moving, they'll, they'll settle down a lot. They'll be more concerned with where they're going and they won't have as much concern for being able to push on each other. Charlene, sweetie, you've done this before. We are back in our first load of Longhorn uh, cows and heifers. What we have is the mother of them all, the godmother, Santiana. The matriarch. The matriarch. We also have her daughter, Charlene, and her granddaughter, Jolene. You know who's going to be happy to see Jolene, don't you? Wailing. Look, here he is over there. He has no idea his sweetheart is here. No idea that his little sweetheart is here. Tex will be very happy to see that we have his sweetheart. His sweetheart. And his daughter. All right, at this point, everyone is very excited. Tex, you gotta give me a minute here. Hold on. We need Waylon. Waylon, come on across. Waylon, come on. Come on, Waylon, come on. Yes, you're beautiful. Jolene is here, okay? Jolene is here. Don't worry about that. All right, what I'm going to do is close these guys in because we do not want them coming out. Now I'm letting the ladies out. I want them to go in here on this side. Come on, sweet ladies. Come on. Uh, don't go that way. Come on. Come on. You need to hush it up. Get on. You're going in that way. Go that way. Come on. Go. Right in there. Come on, Jolene. Come on. Go. Go. Jolene, you're not going to go with there. You're going to go with Mama. Okay. So that was a really easy unload. A lot easier to unload than to load. Oh, jo Charlene, please. <laughs> All right, so we still have our good old boys club over here, the bachelor pad, over on this side. And we have the beginnings of our ladies over on this side. Now, I'll be able to slowly introduce both Danny and Ruby to these ladies. Why are you hollering at your daddy like that? You've missed him so much, haven't you? Tex? Guys, we do not know how this is gonna work out but I feel like the fence line through here is our most secure fence line. And so right now they're all excited. Everyone's excited to see each other, even though it's still gonna be a 14 foot separation. So I'm happy that we are at least underway. Jolene is playing really hard to get. Oh my gosh. Hey Starla, I'm over here, baby. Jolene's like, where's all the grass? There ain't no grass here. Jolene, do you always gonna have such a bad attitude about everything? Such negativity, Jolene. Is your half cup, is your cup half full or half empty? 
That's exactly what I thought. It's half empty. All right, that was a successful first day as far as getting the horses moved over to the sanctuary and then getting a few of our cows moved back over here to Longhorn Lester's. Uh, I don't like, I'll say it one last time, I don't like putting cows on that new pasture yet without having uh, established grass. We got grass just barely coming up. But for now, that's the best we can do. We're going to keep our fingers crossed that we can get a little bit more rain. That grass will keep growing. I don't think that cows will overgraze it the way that horses and donkeys would. So in case you're wondering, a step two, round two, will be to load up the donkeys and Indy, these three here. We'll do that tomorrow. It's done gotten hot today. It's too hot to be transporting anything today, but it's done gotten too warm. And so that will be tomorrow morning. We'll go over and drop these guys off. And don't forget, they will stay with the horses in the larger pastures. And we'll try to bring home two or three more cows or heifers. Not real sure exactly who yet, but we're just pretty much going to bring them back as we can load them until we get all seven of them back. Um, and so we'll just do this step by step. And thank you all for being a part of our video today. And uh, hello, sweet girl. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.